Hey, welcome back. This is M Dog, and I thought I would give a uh, quick little look here at uh, Belaya 7259, and we're using the Spiker 18. We're going to go ahead and cast it out here and just see if we can get some activity. Notice it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so it could be very slow right now. Oh, no, maybe not. Um, I saw someone call a trophy. Um, What was it? Let's see what this is. Trophy brown trout. Oh, look, this is a nice brown trout. So maybe the brown trout are pretty uh, active right here. I mean, if we just call it first fish at one o'clock in the afternoon, that nice of a brown trout, um, that's pretty promising. We're just casting right at this rock, obviously. We'll pretty much just do constant retrieval, speed up every once in a while. We might sometimes let it drop, but uh, that was interesting because that fish hit on the initial toss. We barely started to reel when that brown trout hit it. Uh, there's a little one. Always fun when Belaya has some activity. Also, always really helpful for low-level players. If you can stand here and farm brown trout and have a chance at catching some nice ones, um, that is a that is a uh, exciting prospect. Ooh, are the graylings also active? Okay, so that's that is a good sign. If that is the case, let's cast a little farther to the right than we have been. Right, I'm going to let it drop this time. Yeah, the question will be, um, as it gets a little bit towards evening, can we get a higher percentage of marker fish here? That'll sort of be the, the question. Maybe we don't need to cast as far as we are. We could cast right at that rock, but instead of max casting more like 90% so that it lands on this side of the rock, we probably ought to check that just in case that's where some of the activities come. And 27 retrieval speed right now. Only reason I'm using, I mean, normally I use like, actually I'm all over the place on with these spinner baits. Sometimes I'll slow it down. Um, but especially if you're casting at this direction where it's fl drifting down river away from you, I think it's worthwhile having some speed to it because it's going to end up just getting so far down. Oh, that's another one. I mean, that's... That's good news. Two markers already. There we go. See how sometimes they hit on the fall or right when you start reeling again off the fall. So we've caught what, five or six fish, but only two of them have been markers. That's all I've kept so far. A couple of small graylings. It's what you'd expect middle of the day though. You wouldn't expect it to be, you'd expect to get some smaller fish until it gets to be a little later. And remember, the best fishing here would probably be first in the morning. <clears throat> I've got to leave um, for the afternoon. I'll be gone for a while. So, or I would have waited till morning to record this video. Uh, I don't know how late I'll be. If I get back tonight and it's not too late, I may actually stream for a little while. We'll see. Um, but but if I do, then perhaps we can come try this again during the stream. Hey, it's a perch. Perch aren't always easy to catch here. <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Often the grayling and such, if it's an active spot, overpower the perch it feels like.
All right, let's keep it moving around a little bit. We're gonna max cast again, go a little right of the rock. The only downside of the max casting is if you don't have points invested in spin fishing or bait casting, whatever you're doing, uh, or if you don't have as good of equipment, you may not be able to get it quite that far. But it certainly seems like shorter casts are catching some of the fish as well. So I just wanted to try this again, a couple casts. Because that first one we got was just to the right of the rock and past it. There's a brown trout. Ooh. I like it. gonna be a marker man that is three nice brown trout right there especially if you were lower level really really solid XP and silver on these browns that went past the rock that was weird a little awkward most of the bites are consistently happening on this side of the rock uh, right now it's kind of interesting which is probably good in terms of like if you can only do shorter casts but Still getting some way out there as well, though. <clears throat> See what species this ends up being. Looks like a grayling. I think it's our first marker grayling, though. Yeah. So for what it's worth, we are not getting many bites on that initial drop. <clears throat> but after we do speed up and then drop again, sometimes we are getting a bite there. All right, let's go right a little shorter, right at the rock. See if we can hit a brownie right here. Doesn't look like it.
I think we've got the six point something liter on. I'll double check that in a second. All right, here we go, right in front of the rock. This is where the bites hit some. Not this time. 6.4 is what our fluorocarbon leader is right now. Obviously significantly farther left on that cast, <clears throat> but just kind of wanted to see what it might do. We haven't really cast left of the rock much. It's a little perch again. Well, we're getting activity over here on the left side. Let's see if it's what we want though. That's a very small brown trout, isn't it? Yeah. So maybe we'll go a little shorter this time. Yeah. Okay, now it's hitting just left of the rock a little bit. Grayling. Okay, if we can just get one a little bigger, it's another little perch, isn't it? So perch, brown trout, and grayling. Those are the possible, possible bites that we're seeing right now at least. There's a brownie, and that's gonna be a marker just barely. Big perch. Oh, there we go. This one's a grayling. This is a decent, this is our best grayling of the day so far. I like it. Again, just right in front of that rock right now is been a little interesting. There was something messed up with that cast from the very beginning. It's amazing, 90% just drops that lure right in front of the rock. It's kind of cool. So that is going to be a brown trout marker, but not very big. It's not bad though.
Right now it seems like Left of the Rock might be slightly more active, but we're getting the Perch mixed in more over here as well. It's interesting. Obviously the difference in catching a fat perch versus a fat brown trout, pretty significant in terms of XP and silver. That is not a perch. Yeah, it's gonna be a decent brown trout. Uh-oh. Oh, perfect. It'd be hard to recreate that, that cast actually. So if this is the one we hit a trophy on, sorry about that. Somehow if you hit that rock or you get too close to the rock, it's almost like it messes the lure up. Uh, I can't get like fast retrieval speed. Uh, it's weird. Like this one might do it again. Maybe not, let's see. Yeah, you see how it jerks a little bit? Like I bet we're not gonna be able to get speed up now, but we'll see. All right, that's long enough. Oh, we did get it this time, great. All right, it's that time of day where we're hoping we'll hit one more nice fish. So let's, let's try the right side again. And then we'll just kind of spread it out across right to left. See if we can't find something. Temperature's starting to go back down. Late afternoon. It's not quite as good as like what the early morning fishing would be like, but it should be pretty similar. I mean, you know, almost as good. So we just got to get on the fish here. Find something. Okay perch all right now we're going to just drop it right in front of the rock let it sit for a second and then start pulling we wanted to see that almost immediate bite Well, we're getting the bite, we're just not getting the, the size. There's a little grayling. Try it again, then we'll maybe move left. Of the The nice thing is using 27, I don't feel like the current is, um, it's not taking it as far down as it would if it was a slow retrieval. So I don't mind casting at this angle to the left like this. If we were going any slower though, we, you know, feel like by the time we got it pulled back in it would be you know bringing it up this coast here because the current would take it so far hmm yeah just over here to the left we're still getting the bite but we're not getting the fish All right, let's go oh that's our first chub by the way I'm gonna go way right almost fish in a different area here just trying to find a good brown trout ooh is that a grayling look at that fat grayling it's a nice one over a kilo it's a pretty fish
All right, right here, hopefully. Not this time. This time of day, we want to have that lure in the water as much as possible. Never know. It's still possible to get a good fish right now, but it's definitely getting into nighttime here. Don't like how late it's getting. Bite rate has really died down. Predictably. But if you can coax a bite at this time of day, sometimes it is a nice fish. Waters have really stilled all of a sudden, haven't they? All right, let's see one more cast over here, and then we'll go check the cafe and uh, see how we did in a few minutes of fishing. Ooh, uh, just a night perch, it looks like. All right, we'll cast it back over there one more time since we got a perch. You know, I didn't think about it. We probably should, ooh, okay, hold on. We probably should have kept every fish we caught not knowing what the cafe orders could look like. Oh, that's a brown trout. All right, we'll cast it one more time, see if we can get it in there before 11 p.m. You just never know. It's a nice one. Don't hit it, perch. Come on. Right now. I 
I mean, it is straight up nighttime at this point. Chub? Nope, Grayling. I saw it twisting back there. thought it might have been a Chub, but it's a Grayling. All right, now it's 11.04. It's a nice Grayling for what it's worth. That is definitely a chub, by the way. Some late bites, but I like it. It is now 11.30 at night. And we're going to try one more time over here. Yeah, I'd really want to try this in the morning to get a better feel of which spots are producing the best. I mean, it seems like this whole area is possible, but... I'm not, I don't feel zeroed in right now, but there's definitely some good fish here, which is always fun and a good sign. Look at all these fish uh, in less than half an hour of fishing. The only reason why I kept a couple of those perch is I couldn't, I never remember the different species, what bait fish size. So one to 150, I think it was like 93 grams or something. Uh, okay. So, let's check the cafe. Three chub, that would be possible, right? And by the way, if I had kept all the perch we caught, it would have been even more, I mean, we probably would have had all non-markers that we could have done. Even still, worth doing that for 13 silver. Chub, if you've stayed here for a full day or two, you could definitely... Definitely get that, but there's not that much time left for the order. Unfortunately, no um, no brown trout orders, which are always nice. There's 126 silver. Again, if you're into spin fishing and you're low level, these kind of spots are worth spending some time on. Uh, try out different lures. Try to get zeroed in. If you're really into spin fishing, you know, this is kind of your life at early levels of RF4, um, unless you want to have some real fun and go troll mosquito. But... Uh, Anyway, happy to see that it's working and always glad to see a spot that's producing brown trout at Belaya. That elusive brown trout trophy at Belaya, right? All right. Hey, tight lines, everybody. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.